English Mother of All collection. Mother Tongue, Mother Hen, Mother Nature, The Mothership, A Mother's Love, Mother's Ruin, A Mother's Job is Never Done, Mother Knows Best, A Mother's Apron Strings, Mother of All. Mother Tongue. This phrase refers to a person's first language, the language they learnt as a child. Although I speak English fluently, my mother tongue is Spanish. Mother Hen. A term used to describe someone, often a woman, who is overprotective and fusses over others. She's always worrying about her friends. She's such a mother hen. Mother Nature refers to the natural world and its forces, often used to describe weather or other natural phenomena. Despite our technological advancements, we are still at the mercy of Mother Nature when hurricanes, earthquakes and other natural disasters hit. The Mother Ship this refers to a central or primary location that is important to a particular group or organisation. The astronauts gaze in awe at the massive mothership hovering in the distance. A mother's love. This phrase is used to describe the unconditional love that a mother has for her child. I know I can always count on my mother's love and support. Mother's Ruin refers to a gin, a popular alcoholic beverage in the UK, especially during the 18th and 19th centuries. Gin was sometimes referred to as Mother's Ruin because of its perceived negative effects on mothers and families. In the old days, gin was known as Mother's Ruin because it was blamed for causing poverty and family breakdowns. A mother's job is never done. This phrase is used to describe the endless tasks and responsibilities that mothers have, especially when it comes to taking care of their children. My mum always says that a mother's job is never done, and I can see why. She's always busy. Mother knows best. This phrase means that a mother's advice or opinion should be trusted and respected because of her experience and wisdom. I wasn't sure if I should take the job, but my mum told me that I should go for it. After all, mother knows best. A mother's apron strings. This phrase is used to describe a situation where someone, often a child, is overly dependent on their mother and reluctant to leave her care. He's still tied to his mother's apron strings. He's never lived on his own. Mother of all. This saying refers to something that is the largest or most extreme of its kind, often used to describe a particularly significant event or achievement. The mother of all successes is the one that's built on the foundation of hard work, determination and a strong sense of purpose.